Hurricane Milton is rapidly strengthening in the Gulf today, bringing the threat of dangerous storm surge to the Bay Area. And we just got word from the White House that the president has approved an emergency declaration for Florida. Let's check in now with meteorologist Jim Weber for the very latest on Milton's track. And, and you know what? This is now a Category 5. Winds uh. have increased to 160 miles an hour. So this storm has not only rapidly intensified, we're talking about extreme intensification with this storm. So it is a very powerful storm. Now, it is going to weaken before it makes landfall on our coastline, but we're still talking about a major hurricane making landfall. So this is an extremely, extremely dangerous situation along the west coast of Florida. Hurricane watches and the storm watches are out. Those will be upgraded as we go through the day to warnings. Now, the we're looking at all the various computer models and typically we're looking at these and they're really honing in. The models have struggled just because there's so many moving parts to this forecast as far as all the different components with the cold fronts and everything. So it's going to continue to be really somewhat of a guessing game as we go through the next several days. And those small changes in this forecast track, they could potentially make very big differences on the impacts that you feel at your house. But regardless of any of that, the storm surge, that is still coming and that is going to be live life-threatening along the coastline, potentially 8 to 12 feet from that center to the right of where this is. So right now, this is now a Category 5 hurricane. You can see that very small eye with this. Now, this is a small, compact storm right now, but small storms like this, they go through Iowa replacement cycles. So as this fluctuates and it goes through one of those, the storm will weaken. But as it weakens, it will also expand in size. And it's quite possible that we could see this go through a couple of Iowa replacement cycles. So it will be a weaker storm, but it's going to be a larger storm by the time it works its way over us. So here is now the special advisory winds at 160 miles an hour, still, still moving to the east southeast at nine miles an hour. So it's working its way right near the Yucatan Peninsula. But as we go through the next several days, you see it making that turn and then working its way much closer to us as we head into uh, Tuesday, heading into Wednesday, making landfall along our coastline. That we're always telling you don't focus in on the line because it can still go anywhere in here. But I will tell you, anywhere from the line to the right, that's where you're going to feel the worst part of this. That's that strongest side of this. So if the center of this goes to your south, you're on that better side of the storm. If the center of this goes to your north, you're on that worst side of the storm. Where's that center going to go? Too close to call at this point. But right now, the latest idea is this could head right over Tampa Bay or potentially even to the north of Tampa Bay. And that is really a worst case scenario for the Tampa Bay region as far as that storm surge, getting that maximum storm surge into the bay. So we've got the watch out essentially for all of Central Florida extending inland as well. This is a powerful storm. It will be moving along. So even well away from the coastline, there will be those hurricane force winds. Right now, Sky Tower radar is showing conditions not bad. I mean, so you still have time to finish your preparations. If you're going to evacuate, if you've been ordered to evacuate, you want to heed those warnings. You want to move away from the coastline. You don't want to run from the wind. You hide from the wind. You run from the water. We'll talk